Hi, this is Jaya. In this video, we shall see what Chaucer is telling about the wife of Bath in his The Prologue to the Canterbury Tales. Come, let's go to the tales. A good wife was there of beside Bath. So he says among the 29 pilgrims, there was also a good wife from Bath. But she was some little deaf and that was cat. And he says that she was somewhat a little bit deaf and that is really sorry, a pity. Of cloth making she had such an haunt, she passed them off Zypress and of Gaunter. The Zypress and Gaunt were very famous cloth makers of that time and he says that this wife of Bath was better than them in making cloth. In all the parish wife, no was there none that to the offering before her should gone and if they did certain so wroth was she that she was out of all charity and he says that she loved to give offerings before everyone so in the parish where she was living no one will dare give offering before her and if anyone gives offering before her she will get so angry wrath means angry that she will not talk with them year off that is she will not charity here means love for the neighborhood so she will just cut away the relationship she will not be any more affectionate or friendly with them her cover chiefs full fine wear of ground i does swear they weighed 10 pounds cover chiefs means a head cover a cloth which covers the head and he says that they were so very grand and he says i'm i can promise and say i can swear and say that at least they will weigh 10 pounds it was so grand that on a sunday wherein upon her head so she'll wear this on sunday sunday is very special for all of them because they'll go to the church so all sundays you will prefer to wear your best dress and she will definitely be wearing this cover cloth on her head on sunday her horse and wear a fine scarlet red horse and means um, your um, stockings and he says her stockings were of scarlet red, full straight eated and shoes full moist and new. And they were all laced beautifully. And her shoes were moist means uh, nicely, beautifully polished and they were looking new. Bold was her face and fair and red of you. And her face, she had a very bold face and she was also very fair. Fair means her color complexion was red. She herself was red in color. She was a worthy woman all her life. Husbands at church door, she had five. And he says, she is really a worthy woman because she has five husbands whom she married at the church door without other companion in youth. And other than those five husbands, she has had many companions in the youth. But thereof needeth not to speak as now. And he says, I don't think we have to go in detail about uh, five husbands and the other companions whom she had in her youth. Then he says, and thrice had she been at Jerusalem. So, she has gone as a pilgrim to Jerusalem three times. She had passed many a strange stream and she has crossed many foreign seas. Strange sea means which is uh, foreign to them. At Rome she had been and at Bolon, in Glace, at St. James and at Colin. So, these places all she has gone for pilgrimage. She could much of wandering by the way and she knows because she has travelled a lot she knows all the different places where we have to go. Gat tooth was she soothly for to say. Uh, actually for this gat tooth critics have given two different interpretations. Some critics have said that she had a gap in the teeth and some critics say that since she was very rich she used to spend very lavishly. So there are two interpretations for this. Upon an umbrella, easily she sat. Umbrella is a, a horse which runs very fast, which um, you can uh, really uh, pace. And uh, she can sit on it very easily because uh, she is a very good rider. Empelt well and on her head and hat. And she had a wimple and also a um, head on the hat. I mean she had a hat and um, this wimple means um, it is a head covering mostly the nuns will be wearing it and this hat which was on a head was as broad as is a buckler or a taj and this hat was a very broad hat like a buckler or like a shield taj means shield 
a foot mantle about her hips large foot mantle is the overskirt which she was wearing and he says that her hips were very large she had a large hips uh, and she was wearing a overskirt on that and on her feet a pair of spurs sharp and in her feet she had a pair of spurs <coughs> spurs means it is a very sharp rod usually the horse riders will be wearing it so when they kick the horse it will uh, make the horse to run fast because it will go and trick them in fellowship well could she laugh and carp and when she can easily make friends she can also laugh with them and she can chatter with them and that is she can converse with everyone very well of remedies of love she knew perchance and she knew all the remedies of love for she could of that art the old dance and she also knew the art of the old dance this is the picture that chaucer gives about the wife of bath uh, like the video share it with your friends and if you have anything to add on to this please write it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and while subscribing please press the bell button only then you will get the notification of all the videos when i post them thank you